Hey there Sagittarius, welcome. Thank you for tuning in to my channel, The Fool's Journey Tarot. You are watching a general love reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So if you're a returning viewer, first of all, welcome. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for viewing more of my videos. If you are returning, you already know that because this is a general love reading, it can apply to just about any type of relationship, situation, or circumstance that you're dealing with. I also want to remind all of my viewers to be flex flexible with the energy. You can mix and match the roles within the reading, and that means you can be represented by any of the characters that shows up in the cards. Parts of the reading may resonate for you, while other parts may not. So take what does and leave behind the rest. My intention is to reach those that need this message and will benefit from it. So I hope you enjoy it, Sagittarius, but I also hope that you feel like it was worth your while and worth your time to watch the video. If you are brand new or relatively unfamiliar with my channel, there is more specific information excuse me, regarding my videos and my channel in the description box below. So go ahead and have a, have a look there if you're curious. We're going to go ahead and get started. Give my first deck one more good chuckle. Oh, by the way, Carmilla is here. She's hanging out on her cage. because She decided she wanted to take bites out of my ear while she was sitting on my shoulder. So there she sits on her cage. Having her snacks, drinking her water, doing her thing. And I did change the angle of the camera, so I know you can't really see her that well, but been fiddling with my camera angles for a while and I just can't seem to get something that I like. But anyway, this is this is how it is today. So here we go, Sagittarius. Let's see what we've got for you. We're going to start off with the Six of Cups and the Emperor in reverse. The Star. Nine of Pentacles. The Lovers. Six of Swords. Two of Swords. And then we have the uh, Knight of Pentacles <laughs> playing for a second. Okay, Sagittarius. So while I was pulling out these first, this first set of cards, I kept thinking, okay, this feels like it's tied to the reading feels like it's tied to a significant relationship or connection with the Six of Cups out here, the lovers. It feels like a significant relationship. Could be one um, that has um, been a relationship of longevity. Could be someone that you've known from your past or could be someone who's come back from your past, but I feel like it's a very significant relationship to you. There's almost a sense of you know, Sagittarius is, is doing well enough by yourself, feeling good, feeling hopeful, taking care of business, day to day, everything's moving along pretty nicely for Sagittarius. I feel like this, these cards represent you and your energy. You could be single with the Nine of Pentacles coming out here. And again, just kind of doing your own thing, taking care of business, feeling pretty good. But then you could have this connection or this relationship, possibly someone from your past who, who comes back or re is returning. I get the sense of somebody coming back or returning or re-entering your life. And it's kind of out of your control. It's something that just kind of boom, they're there. You know what I mean? Hey, what's up? I haven't seen you for a while. Surprise, I'm in town, that type of thing. But it's somebody that's significant and somebody that you've known for a period of time. So it feels like there's this return um, and something about this person, while it's a very significant connection to you, also feels like it could be a little bit troublesome. And by that I mean it might um, alter or change what's going on currently for you. And I think I put these cards backwards. I think they were like this. Um... 
anyway, I don't want to get too much into that message until I get some more information. So we'll see if I'm headed in the right direction. But I feel like there's something about this person coming back or this person returning where it kind of puts the brakes on. All of a sudden, um, maybe your, your focus changes or your um, energy is shifted because now all of a sudden this, this per person's making an appearance or coming back. So let's see, let's see what else we get for Sagittarius. <clears throat> Five of Swords in reverse. Justice in reverse. Eight of Wands. Three of Cups. Page of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and then we have Death. So I think the Queen of Wands is the person that I'm reading for. I think she's tied to this Nine of Pentacles in the star energy. This person feels independent. If you're not, I mean, if you're not single, for example, this person still feels very independent to me. Like they're um, doing their own thing, enjoying the, you know, the spoils of life, um, kind of taking advantage of the fact that they don't, they're not having to watch over other people or care for other people or be responsible for others, for example. It's, it's just a very independent, kind of carefree energy that this Queen of Wands has. The Queen of Wands can be somebody who's very um, creative and very active, somebody who kind of goes after what she wants. She's kind of fearless. She's not afraid of a challenge. She, she can command a lot of attention. This could be potentially somebody who's very attractive when she walks in into a, a room, people kind of take notice or pay attention to her. Um, she's ambitious and creative. So I just get this very positive energy off this Queen of Wands, but she's also got this kind of very independent single energy about her. And like I said, even if this person is not single, it's they still kind of have that air about them or that way about them. So there's some kind of return of energy into this person's life. And it, it feels like a connection or relationship, Six of Cups, Lover's Energy. Possibly someone coming back in from your past. Now, I feel like there may have been some unresolved conflict or something that was not addressed from the past. Maybe it's something you've even forgotten about. Maybe it wasn't even that big of a deal. But there was some, some kind of injustice, some kind of conflict, some kind of issue within the connection that... Um, I don't think there was a close or any closure or there was it was any any resolution maybe it was an argument where you know both parties just decided to accept that there wasn't going to be any agreement but there's something about an unresolved issue unresolved conflict that could be returning right along with this individual who feels like they're coming back into your life now I also feel like it's possible this person um, asked about Sagittarius, or this Queen of Wands. You know, how's Sagittarius doing? What's going on in their life? Um, maybe had conversations with um, people that you are mutually connected to, whether this be family members, friends, social circle, colleagues, or coworkers. I feel like there was some kind of communication with others regarding this Queen of Wands. So it could have been this person kind of was asking, hey, how's Sagittarius doing? I haven't heard from them for a while. Um, and I think that they got word about how Sagittarius is doing. And it sounds like maybe, this is a hunch, I'm not seeing this in the cards yet, 
but maybe this person came back into your life because they heard how well you were doing and how good things were going and you know um you know it's been a while it's been a period of time since i've saw, seen sagittarius maybe it's time for me to come back into the picture you know test the waters see if this relationship still has legs that kind of thing But this Queen of Wands, it's almost like she's having to put the brakes on because of um, the situation, the return, we'll call it the return of this person. It feels like she's saying, whoa, wait a minute, I got to put the brakes on now, switch gears. My focus is being um, led in another direction. It just feels like she's kind of, she, she might be pausing and saying, okay, wait a minute. Um, you know, maybe didn't we end things because we didn't come to an agreement or there was that unresolved conflict that where, you know, we both left mad and I didn't think I was getting, you know, that type of thing. It just feels like she's kind of like, wait a minute, putting the brakes on, maybe kind of waiting to see what comes next. With the Seven of, of Pentacles coming out here, um, on top of the Six of Swords, I get the feeling like, again, um, whatever is going on with this connection, it is definitely a connection that um, has lasted the test of time. It, it also may indicate that it's been a long time since you've heard from this person. And, and so I also get the feeling like if there was some kind of um, unresolved conflict due to the passing of time, it might be one of those things where it just kind of, you know, forgive and forget type of thing. Um, it's not even significant in your life anymore. You never think about it, you know, that type of thing. So it's just kind of drifted away with the past. And so maybe this person's kind of coming back in, dipping their toe in the water. How's Sagittarius doing? Is it okay? Is, is, is it, is it um, okay for me to come back and see how this person's doing? That type of energy. So let's get um, some more cards out here for Sagittarius. We have the Knight of Wands. And then the King of Wands. Here's the person who's coming back. I laugh because um, I was thinking to myself when the Knight of Wands come out, came out. Now, usually when I read tarot, for me, the Knight of Wands obviously represents the energy of somebody. But I usually attribute the energies of people to the kings and queens. And once in a while, you know, I get that feeling like this, this card, either this knight or a page, might represent the main energy of that individual. Like a child, for example, might be represented by a page. <clears throat> When this Knight of Wands came out, I thought, this is the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Came out on the Six of Cups, and then um, the King of Wands came out next to him. So this is, this is the same person, but he's also on top of the Emperor in reverse. So I do feel like whatever conflict occurred in the past, this was definitely more significant for you. In other words, um, I think this person caused some kind of grief or injustice for you and so that might be why it feels like this person's thinking is it all right to come back now you know has the has the negative energy lifted has it dissipated is it safe can i see how sagittarius is doing now have they forgotten about the injustice that i created in the past so that's what i've got so far there's the seven of pentacles again Nine of Cups, very interesting. We have the Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Um, death again. Four of Cups. The Hierophant in reverse. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So 
is an interesting story that's unfolding. And it's little details that are coming out that are kind of confirming what I, what I got at the beginning, but giving me a little more insight. So this King of Wands and uh, Knight of Wands, I'm just going to call him the King of Wands, <clears throat> in reverse is the person that this Queen of Wands is dealing with. This is the person coming back from the past. This could have been a romantic, intimate connection. could be any kind of connection. It doesn't have to be intimate or romantic, but it certainly could have. I feel like this King of Wands has communicated with um, people that, that both of these individuals know. So again, this could be a social circle, group of friends, family members, uh, colleague or coworker that they both know. But I feel like they, they got some information beforehand um, through common connections to find out how Sagittarius was doing because I feel like this person caused some problems in the past for you, Sagittarius. Now, if you're if you are not resonating in this as this Queen of Wands, I'm reading for the Queen of Wands, so you could potentially be this King of Wands, or somebody external to the situation, but you're aware of what's going on. So just understand that I'm reading for this Queen of Wands, so I'm going to be talking to you as though you are her, but you can switch the roles. So just be aware of that. <clears throat> so I feel like this Queen of Wands. Um, a lot of time has passed. Seven of Pentacles came out again, and I feel like she's been very patient. And I feel like there's a lot of, um, there's been a lot of energy for this Queen of Wands put forth into um, paying attention to her needs, um, what she needs to do to get back up on her feet, what she needs to do to take care of herself, what she wants out of life. There's a lot of very positive energy in these cards. And I think that's what was communicated by the friends, the common um, connections between the King of Wands and, and Queen of Wands. This is how the, the Sagittarius is doing. This is how the Queen of Wands is doing. Um, fulfilling dreams. Moving towards positive things in your life that you've been wanting to have and wanting to experience. Um, just very positive energy. And, and it's taken you some time. It's taken you a while. And maybe, maybe you've had to recover from whatever occurred with this King of Wands to get to this point. So I feel like a lot of, lot of time has passed. And it, it might be too that, that's, that so much time has passed and so much has changed for this Queen of Wands that this connection, this relationship has almost been on the back burner. Not something that she's necessarily thinking about and possibly something that has even ended for her. But she's also, if this connection at one time, at least in this person's eyes or mind has ended, it's also to a certain extent because of the connection transformed this individual because I feel like this individual, this Queen of Wands is in a very good place right now. And again, it could have been because she had to recover from some hardships from a relationship in the past, but I, I feel like this person's returning. I think Mercury is in retrograde right now. I am not an astrologer, but I watch, you know, the occasional tarot reading on YouTube and, and some of the astrology. And I think Mercury is in retrograde. And of course, that means, you know, people coming back into your life from the past or um, revisiting past events, conflicts, relationships. But I know that that is tied to Mercury retrograde. So I, I do feel like there's this person is definitely coming back in making an appearance because they dipped their toe in the water in the social circle. They kind of got um, some word from some friends or co colleagues. Yeah, Sagittarius is doing great. They're in a good head space, good mind space. This might be the time to, you know, send a text message, knock on the door and see how they're doing. However, <laughs> I think this Queen of Wands is really concerned that you know she's done some work on her on 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 her end, but has this King of Wands done the same kind of work? Has this King of Wands healed? Has this King of Wands reflected on what occurred in the past? You know, have they grown as a result of the mistakes made and um, corrections made? getting back on track, that kind of thing. I think there's some um, skepticism. 
because with the Knight of, of Pentacles out here indicating stagnation or no movement or no growth. And then with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse on top of that, you know, giving up on something or not, not um, living to your full potential or not meeting expectations or this could be job related too with this Eight of Pentacles coming out here. So I just feel like some, you know, the work hasn't been done or there hasn't been growth or it could be that, that this Queen of Wands is suspicious of that with regard to this King of Wands. You know, this is, this is interesting, Sagittarius, because this is one of those readings for me right now anyway, where um, the cards are coming out very fluid for me and it's almost reading like a, a story in order. You know, I'm not having to do a lot of jumping around. It's like beginning, middle, end. So let's get some more cards out here for Sagittarius and see what else. We have the Knight of Swords. The Queen of Wands again. <laughs> Clarifying the Justice in Reverse card. I don't mean to laugh, but um, I just, again, I just mentioned that these cards are coming out like a story. And it's... it's <clears throat> the same thing and there's confirmation here that there is some kind of wrongdoing by this this emperor um, king of wands toward this queen of wands and um, it was unresolved there could be some question with regard to this queen of wands where she's thinking is this person returning to make amends or to apologize or to accept responsibility. Um, I'm not seeing that. I'm not seeing that. And I don't, again, I don't mean to laugh, but um, it's almost too obvious at this point that this person's intention is not to accept some responsibility and make moves in the right direction to repair the relationship or at least gain some closure. I think this person has some other kind of motive with their return. This King of Wands has some kind of other motive regarding their return. No, I would, you don't need to get scared or anything, Sagittarius. I'm not, not necessarily thinking this person is sinister or coming back to, to harm you. I just think um, right now what I'm getting, and we'll see what Oh, shit, I just shuffled these. Okay, I guess I had to. Damn it. Okay, you know what? I've done this in the past, and apparently I had to reshuffle. When I start putting cards out, and then I put the deck down to explain what's come out, then I forget that I hadn't put the rest of the cards out, and sometimes I'll pick up the deck and start shuffling again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two more cards from the bottom and still lay it out the way I normally would have, but I'm going to give this deck one more shuffle. I know you didn't need to know that, Sagittarius. You're like, you know what? I don't do what you need to do. Just tell me what the hell's going on with this King of Wands. That's what Sagittarius is thinking. <laughs> Shuffle as many times as you want to. Just tell me what's going on. That's what Sagittarius is thinking. I know, but I had to tell you. It made me feel better <laughs> to tell you what I'm doing. So we have the Two of Swords again. And then the Knight of Wands again in reverse this time. So now we've got the Knight of Wands in reverse, Queen of Wands, King of Wands, and the Knight of Wands in the upright position. I think there might even be, this, this Queen of Wands might be getting triggered a little bit by the return of this individual because I think she's suspicious. For sure. Now I'm not going to get carried away and start talking and not put the rest of these cards out. So let's see what else we have. The Eight of Wands came out again on the Eight of Wands. The Emperor again, this time in the upright position. The Five of Swords again in the upright position. Queen of Pentacles in reverse.
Five of Wands. And then the world. Okay, so I'm going to get this last round out and then get a little bit deeper into these cards. But they're... Um, so whatever conflict occurred, it, it did go on, on unresolved. And um, I think... I think this King of Wands um, did something damaging to this Queen of Wands. I think he left her high and dry. I think he left her feeling like she needed to retreat and focus on herself and um, heal and recover. There's a sense of feeling like, you know, it took me a long time to get from this point of feeling um, like I could get back up on my feet again. I think this Queen of Pentacles is her energy too. But it's in relation to what happened with this um, conflict from the past. And this could also be information that this King of Wands received when I feel like he communicated with um, third party members, people who are associated with both of these people. I think he could have received this information. There's a sense that um, this Queen has done uh, a lot of... Um, healing and recovery and prog made a lot of progress um, after whatever occurred between her and this king of wands and um, she may have even left the relationship in the past kind of let it go this person's making an appearance and this queen of wands doesn't trust him because whatever occurred in the past has, has not um, been resolved So the question is, is this person back for that for that reason? And I don't feel like he is. And I think part of what's telling me that is this person only communicated what he needed to communicate. His goal behind communicating in the first place with whoever he got in touch with in touch with was to gain information on this Queen of Wands, Sagittarius. So it wasn't to give information regarding his himself or herself. Remember, the King of Wands could be a female or male. This person did not communicate for the purpose of giving information about themselves. The purpose of communicating with these third parties was to gain information about this Queen of Wands. Which leads me to believe there is an ulterior motive behind this person's return. For this Queen of Wands anyway, there's definitely a sense of completion or ending or having come full circle with regard to this connection, this situation with this King of Wands. I feel like this Queen of, Queen of Wands has come to terms with the situation and it has quite literally put it in the past to the point where I don't know that it's even this person has even been on her mind for a while. If this person has has um, popped into her head or she you know she's um, revisiting memories or whatever, it's been brief. It's been um, and you know she had a few lasting thoughts about this person. It it's not something that where she was um, dwelling or. Um, revisiting the past because of any negative feelings that she was harboring or resentment. It was just simply a memory at this point in time for her. In other words, she's, she's healed from whatever occurred within this relationship. Let's get this last round out. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This can indicate um, a family dynamic, disru disruption within a family, possibly divorce if this was a um, that kind of relationship. And then we've got the Empress on top of the Emperor, both in reverse. We've got the Emperor and the Empress in reverse, the King of Wands in reverse, the Queen of Wands in the upright, Justice in reverse. And then the King of Wands, Knight of Wands is in here twice. There's death, death for the, I said death, 
there's death from the third time. The devil. Hermit in reverse. Ten of Cups. King of Cups. And then the Four of Wands in reverse. Okay, so let me go ahead and just say this because the the message feels very very uh, significant and also feels very clear in other words um usually when i'm looking at the cards i'm trying to figure out okay could this go another way and this feels like a one-way street reading so i'm just going to say if it doesn't resonate it doesn't resonate but this king of wands has come back into the picture for unsavory um reasons this and, and, and when I say that, I don't, I don't mean that this person is sinister or this person is going to hurt you, Sagittarius. I think this person has feelings for this Queen of Wands still. Um, but he has no intention of, of rehashing what occurred in the past. And what occurred in the past was unjustified. Um, and I do believe, you know, and I... I Obviously, anytime there's a conflict, generally speaking, it's at least, a, you know, partially a two-way street. Not, you know, very rarely do you have a situation where um, one person is all to blame, right? So I'm not, I'm not trying to necessarily indicate that unless this was, a, this was an abusive situation and it potentially could be. But with the Six of Cups and Lovers coming out here, I do feel like this was a very significant relationship. I don't necessarily feel like it was abusive. I'm not saying that it couldn't be, but I think this person, this King of Wands, is definitely the person who was in the wrong with regard to whatever happened in the past between these two. Um, on a much more significant level. So certainly this Queen of Wands could have could have could be to blame for whatever occurred in the past that that went wrong in the past between these two but i do feel like the the um main burden of responsibility lies with this king of wands i, I almost feel like he's he's left a very significant period of time between whatever happened in the past and um his his um return his reemergence into into the life of this queen of wands It's almost like, um, I'm just gonna throw this out there as, as possible thought process for this King of Wands. Like he's thinking to himself, you know, if I let enough time pass and the Queen of Wands has enough time to recover and get back on her feet and start feeling good about her life again, then when I do come back, when I do return, it'll be like starting fresh, starting new, starting over. And we can put an end to what occurred in the past. We can ignore this. Because it's no longer relevant. And it's no longer painful for this Queen of Wands. Because she's done the healing. We can ignore we can ignore what happened in the past. And everything can be right and good again. In, with this connection.
So I think this king has feelings for this queen. The king of cups came out, and I do feel like this is this king of wands also. It came out clarifying the queen of wands. And I think it's got her a little rattled. I think she knows. I think she can tell that there might be some intentions coming from this king that maybe he wants to reconnect on an intimate level, on a um, romantic level, on a, you know, the way it was before. I think it's it could be potentially um, throwing this queen off. Again, I get the hunch that she's like kind of taking a step back and thinking, okay, wait a minute. Things aren't right. This doesn't feel right. Uh, I, don't, I don't think this king has done the work in order for things to be stable enough for us to reconnect on this level. Uh, things were said and done. And the reason why she put a period at the end of the sentence with this, with regard to this connection, this relationship with this King of Wands, is because things were unstable. And I think that they remain unstable because, again, I don't think this King's done the work that he needs to do. I think this Queen has. So I think she's seeing some red flags. Some sirens are going off in her head. She's questioning the motives of this king's return. Why is he doing this? Why did you know what, what, what did, why does he want back into this relationship? Am I taking I'm gonna take this one. Why does he want back in? What does he want out of this? There's some kind of motive. I can't tell based on what I'm seeing in the card, Sagittarius, what his motive is. So that part I don't have unless this card tells us. So we have healing in reverse that came out. The eleven card. I haven't pulled this one in a really, really long time. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw this out there real quick before I read this card because it's just one, la one last little kind of thought that's going through my head. The whole reason behind communicating with these third parties, the whole reason why this King of Wands communicated was to gain access to information regarding this Queen of Wands. And the reason why he's back is because this is her energy she's regained hope, she's regained her health, she's regained her security, she's, she's back up on her feet, she's making headway in her life, she's doing things that she's been wanting to do, she's feeling good about herself. And it's taken her a long time. She could even, you know, have a fair amount of money in her pocket. Maybe she's well-to-do. The Nine of, Nine of Pentacles can indicate that. Maybe she's got a good job, she's making some good money, and she, you know, She's got a new car, a new place to live. I'm just throwing that out there. That could potentially be the motive, especially since that seems to be what the communication was about. So let's go ahead and read this. This is ending up being kind of a long, long video, but that's okay, Sagittarius. So this is a potential blockage because it came out reversed. It won't be too long. It's only about a third of a page. So I'm going to reveal this card for you in the upright. And by the way, the major arcana cards from this particular deck don't necessarily have counterparts in the um, Rider Waite traditional tarot deck. Um, the healing card could potentially be uh, similar to in nature to um, temperance. Um, but again, there are a couple extra cards, so I don't necessarily um, link the major arcana cards with cards from, you know, your traditional, traditional tarot deck. Okay, Sagittarius, here we go. When the healing card appears in the reversed position, it may signify a resistance to getting help and healing that could be born of fear. If you are experiencing an unresolved dis-ease, ask yourself if you are trying to treat it as mind over matter situation. When your inner wisdom tells you it needs more than that. If that is the case, do not be afraid. More often than not, we imagine the situation to be so much worse than it is. Reality is often very different. Do not prevent an opportunity for healing because you are afraid or hold on to a stubborn belief that you can handle it. Or heal, heal yourself if you just think positively. Positivity and prayer can work miracles, but not when they are being used as wound dressings over an untreated or infected wound. You do not have to endure alone. Reach out and ask for help. Do not let your fears prevent you from finding the treatment and help that you need. 
Okay, so here's what I got from this. Um, first of all, I do think that there is reason for this queen of um, wands to be skeptical and cautious with regard to the return of this individual. However, with this card coming out, it is possible that this king um, has returned for the purpose of healing. Maybe, maybe himself, maybe the relationship, maybe both. But this king could have uh, positive intentions. Just because he's hopeful to leave something in the past that maybe he's responsible for, just because of this, doesn't necessarily mean that his intentions are completely bad. He might, he might also feel like, you know, Sagittarius is in a good place. His Queen of Wands is in a good place. She's done her part. She's done her healing. Now maybe I can return and do the same for myself. That's just a thought. Could be um, one of those um, here's another option scenarios. But this is the energy of this person. He is taking action. He's doing it because there's this opening. Um, he feels good about it. He feels like this might be the right time. But again, um, I don't know that he's addressed his responsibilities with regard to what happened in the past in this relationship and connection. Maybe that's that's the purpose behind his return. So I don't blame you, Sagittarius, for being skeptical and being um, cautious when it comes to this individual. But if you are wondering, I do think that this person still has feelings for you and um, possibly wants to rekindle the relationship. So there you go, Sagittarius. I hope that the reading was enjoyable. I hope that it was helpful. If it did resonate, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment if you'd like to. I always enjoy those, and I will see you next time. Bye, Sagittarius.